Hi there, and welcome to The Works. I'm Ben Pelletier. And I'm Ben Che. In the second part of today's show, we're focusing on two great musicians. First, French actress Clotilde Curiel will be talking to us about her stage show, in which she gives us an intimate look into the love life of the great French singer Edith Piaf. And you may remember that just a couple of weeks ago, violinist Cholang Lin was in our studio to tell us about the Intimacy of Creativity program. This week, we have another guest from that series, the award-winning double bass player and composer Edgar Meyer. But in part one, we're looking at some art which you may not have been able to avoid seeing over the past week or so. Every newspaper, every TV station seems to have been bringing us images of giant-sized inflatable artworks, either a cute giant rubber duck or some more disturbing giant sculptures brought here in the Mobile M Plus Inflation Exhibition. It's called inflation, which of course, uh, the main meaning, it's a pun based on the fact that all the sculptures are inflated. Yes, some of them are very interactive. Uh, of course, the work I'm standing in front of here, uh, Sacrilege or the Stonehenge, but it's called Sacrilege by Jeremy Deller, British artist, of course, is really, truly a jumping castle almost but it is also an exact replica of, of Stonehenge. The Mobile M Plus Inflation Exhibition, which opened on April 25th, is organized by the West Kowloon Cultural District Authority. It's located on the future sites of the Museum M Plus. It's part of an initiative by the management using art to build a connection with the audience, even before the museum opens in 2017. We thought it was time to move on site and really start bringing people and bringing art to the site, even though it's, it's temporary. And then using inflatable sculptures is the best way if you want to do something in a big scale and, and uh, that doesn't cost a big fortune. <laughs> Even before its official opening, the exhibition had already drawn some attention. Some posters on the internet were rather put off by the gross nature of Complex Pile by British artist Paul McCarthy. I was delighted because it, it turned out that it get, got more than 10,000 likes almost immediately. So there was a lot of great enthusiasm and fun around it. And I do think that, that all these works have really a fun side to them. They are, they are really amusing and so forth. And then of course, what you actually think they are is really in the eye of the beholder. Uh, it's, it's a projection of what's in your mind as well as, as much as of the, in the artist's mind. The Ogu 很人性的一件事就是其实跟社会里面人究竟哪些人揸住哪些工具去吓令到一些人 
title is Emptiness is Form and Form is Emptiness. Yeah, from the Buddhist Bible, people love flower and flower is primitive. Our environment, industrial, pollution, chemical, man made this black flower. Children and old people not related art people. Everyone know the flower. So I want to make the flower because for the ordinary people. Yang 這個豬會在豬的屁屁和豬的一側的腹腔裡面會有兩個門口其實所以話是糖因為它是一個很像亭的空間即是好像在公園裡面你傳統公園會有路、山、亭、會休息 那它會有豬的骨落,燒肉件會成為一些好像傢俱的凳子給人去休息 we are very wondering. So many, many people here, only for a yellow duck. I can't understand. Well, you know, the rubber duck has healing powers, you know. It can, you know, bring joy and happiness to you if you're open for it. It can make you look for real if you're open for it. It can connect you to other people. Getting even more media coverage over the past week has been Rubber Duck, a work by Dutch conceptual artist Florentine Hoffman. Unlike the M Plus exhibition, this is more of a commercial project being presented in Hong Kong in collaboration with a shopping mall. Before coming here, the Rubber Duck visited other cities including Osaka, Sydney and Sao Paulo. It is of course a less challenging or disturbing piece than some of those in the mobile M Plus show, but like them, the rubber duck, which will float around Victoria Harbour until June 9th, has been attracting thousands of sightseers. I think art, and this shows it, you know, also has to be shown in public space. You know, there is advertisement in this architecture and there's nature and there is, you know, art definitely uh, needs a place in that. Well, it's a pontoon weighing around 4,000 kilos of metal. Connected on that pontoon is a big inflatable structure and it needs 24-7 electric power to blow uh, wind into the uh, inflatable structure. So that's what you're seeing. It's just a tiny layer of fabric with a lot of air inside. We'll be back after the break. See you then.